Hey, this is Tom Maxwell. And Chad Gray from Hell Yeah, and you're watching Loudwire. Come on. Um, the departure of Bob and uh, Greg. Uh, they just pretty much had a, a, a lot of other stuff going on in their life that just took the focus of the band away. And for us to continue, we had to part ways with them. It was a, a, a toxic situation that almost broke the band up. And <clears throat> they just couldn't get, get it together. And uh, it's, it was a very painful, uh, time for us. It was very emotional, but I think, you know, the, uh, the love that we have for each other and for the band, we, we needed to uh, kind of, you know, do the, uh, the worst case scenario and just part ways with them and just say, hey, you know, we're moving on without you. We have to. It just isn't working anymore. And, you know, wished them both the best, but you know, it got to a point where we just couldn't continue on together anymore. Uh, bandmates um you know there's this situation where we got to vegas uh to start the record and you know usually i'm going to come in a little bit later anyway there's like some just initial tracking that has to happen before i can really do anything and uh you know we're in vegas or whatever i live in arizona and i'm like you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna fly down in my truck or whatever and just drive back so i've got wheels here or whatever and the plan was fly down on the monday you know, get my truck, drive back on Tuesday. And I got home and it was just like, everything was just weighing on me so hard. You know, just, you know, what's the hardest part of writing a record or, or, or recording a record? The beginning, you know what I mean? What's the easiest part when you're listening to a playback, you know? So uh, just everything just stacking up. And these guys had, you know, all the songs pretty much, I mean, they were written, you know? Um, which I was in Dallas for that, that writing process, but nothing was happening. It was, you know, uh, kind of contentious and weird. And, and, and we just, you know, I, there was no drive, you know, to get uh, started. And, um, you know, it was, um, like I said, it was Monday when I flew down. And then, you know, here comes Friday rolling around. And this gets to the point, our point, my point of uh, like us leaning on each other or whatever, you know, Tom wrote me on Friday and was like, you know, when are you coming back? And um, I was like, you know, I don't know, maybe Monday or something like that. I was just real wishy-washy about it. I wasn't being like specific at all. Yeah. And, I, and he's like, dude, he's like, get up tomorrow, get in your truck, drive back. And I was like, okay, you know, well, you know, I'll figure it out or whatever. He's like, get in your truck and drive back. And, you know, that really spoke volumes to me, you know, and, um, you know, he needed me, you know, he needed me for himself to go and, you know, Vinny needed me, you know, to go and it, it's good to feel wanted. And I think that was my big motivator. And, uh, you know, so I got in my truck and I drove back and went in the studio and, and, you know, we got, we got rolling. But it wasn't that, that was the that was the first um, like kind of light, you know, you're standing in that dark tunnel, you know what I mean? And it's just blackness all around you, you know, and, and the, the emotional baggage was just weighing me down. And that was like the first glint, the first little glimmer of, of light to really let me know that it was possible, you know. So we went back and got and got started and it just really was a testament to all of our friendships and relationships or whatever, and how hard we leaned on each other to get through this. But at the end of the day, I mean, this is such a heavy record on, on, on so many levels. It's not just the anger, the frustration, the angst, but it's also the helplessness and, and you know, uh, that we felt. So, um, and that in itself is a, is a very heavy emotion. Mm -hmm. 